Notice the little puddles of water next to the feet of these travelers. Also notice that they're surrounded by a little pool of water. The water is here to help you remember that traveler's diarrhea is characterized by a watery diarrhea. Okay, now let's discuss the two toxins produced by enterotoxigenic E. coli. The first one is a heat-stable enterotoxin. Heat-stable just means that the toxin is not easily destroyed by heat. To represent this, we've added another character to the scene, who appears to be staying warm with these artificial heat generators. He's not too worried like the other trapped travelers, just sitting back, staying warm, and waiting for the rescue team to come. So you could say that he's warm and stable, which is why he represents the heat stable enterotoxin produced by enterotoxigenic E. coli. The heat generators that he's using are here to help you remember the word generator, which in turn should help you remember cyclic GMP. So the heat stable enterotoxin overactivates guanylate cyclase, which results in increased levels of cyclic GMP. This decreases the ability of the intestinal mucosa to reabsorb water and salt, which in turn creates an osmotic effect within the lumen of the gastrointestinal tract and contributes to the watery diarrhea present among those infected. So heat generator for increases cyclic GMP. Okay, now let's discuss the heat labile toxin. This just means that the toxin is destroyed by heat. To represent this, we've shown a guy who is an emotional wreck. He's been crushed by the rock and is stuck here, so he's much more liable to emotionally break down while waiting for the rescue team. In other words, he's emotionally labile, or heat labile. So the second toxin produced by enterotoxigenic E. coli is the heat labile enterotoxin. To help you remember the mechanism of this toxin, we've shown a tent right next to this guy. And just like in our other videos, the tent is here to help you remember cyclic AMP. So the heat labile enterotoxin increases levels of cyclic AMP. This in turn increases the intestinal secretion of chloride and water into the lumen, which creates an osmotic effect and contributes to the watery diarrhea seen in the disease. So again, enterotoxigenic E. coli overactivates adenylate cyclase, which increases the levels of cyclic AMP.